Good day. This is Peter Kniff from Castlestone Management with comments on the U.S. market for the week ending January 13th. U.S. stocks managed to post gains on the week despite geopolitical unrest and the start of Q4 earnings season. The Dow Jones gained three tenths of a percent, the S&P 500 climbed 1.8 percent, and the Nasdaq Composite surged 3.1 percent. Markets in the U.S. will be closed on Monday for the Martin Luther King holiday. This week, Treasury yields softened as economic data suggested the likelihood of a continued drop in inflation. On the week, the two-year note yield fell 25.3 basis points, the 10-year note yield dropped 9.2 basis points, and the 30-year yield finished marginally lower. The U.S. dollar index looks to be headed lower, as the 50-day moving average closed below the 200-day uh, moving average on Friday, signaling the so-called death cross. Short-term momentum is negative. As unrest in the Middle East continued to escalate, uh, gold prices held steady, posting a one-tenth uh, one of a percent gain on the week. Despite a rally on Friday propelled by U.S. airstrikes against Houthi uh, rebels uh, who have uh, been attacking ships in the Red Sea, oil prices fell in the week. WTI declined by 1.4% and Brent fell five tenths of a percent over the five trading days. Thanks for listening and thanks for doing business with Castlestone. Remember, markets are closed Monday and we'll talk to you soon.